Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm doing a little bit of a different fun kind of video. So what this video is going to be about is pretty much, first off, I'm going to explain every single product before I use it. And the reason for that is because this video is more of a back to basics kind of video. And this video is for people who are coming to YouTube now who are new to makeup and really just want a place where they can start with just a few products that I think are necessities. So yeah, this video is pretty much just for the people who are kind of beginners just starting out. I don't really see videos like this much on YouTube, the back to basics kind of videos where it's just minimal makeup things that you would use for every day. So since I didn't really see any videos like this, I decided to do this video, but I'm also going to incorporate it into a 10 minutes or less kind of video using all the products I will be talking about. And the 10 minutes or less kind of video is also for the beginners, but it's also for the people who have to go to work in the morning or who have to go to class and don't have time to get all glammed up and they just want something that's going to make them look alive, rejuvenated, fresh, and just natural. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to incorporate both videos into one. So like I said, I'm going to start off first by explaining every single product one by one and going in depth so that you guys know how to use it. And every single product I'm going to be mentioning, if it is in drugstore, there's always a drugstore alternative. I haven't found some yet for the products I'm using and that's why I'm mentioning these instead of drugstore products, but I'm sure if you do your research and you look, you'll definitely find drugstore products that are just as great as these and they're in your budget and work for you. The only reason I'm mentioning these products and some of them aren't drugstore, some of them are high-end is because these are the ones that work for me and my skin is just really different and sensitive and some things just don't work for me, some things just break me out. and. So these are the things that mostly I'm comfortable with, and but I'm still going to explain them to you one by one in depth. And if you find drugstore alternatives, please let me know. I would love to hear what you guys found and try them out myself. So yeah, so let's get started. Okay, so the first one, I'm going to go I'm gonna kind of go in order of how I would do my face. And the first thing is a moisturizer. I highly recommend always applying a moisturizer, even if you're not putting on like a ton of makeup. Like even if you're just going to do a primer, I still recommend a moisturizer because it's going to keep your face looking really hydrated and just clean and flawless and kind of glowing throughout the whole entire day. This one I use just before I put on makeup. I have a separate moisturizer that I use in the morning when I wake up, when I wash my face. So this one I use just when I put on my makeup and it is called the Clinique Moisture Surge. You can definitely find drugstore alternative to this one. I use in the mornings the CeraVe, um, the blue bottle. I'm not quite sure exactly what it's called, but you could use that one also. They both work just as well. I don't know why I just gravitated toward this one just specifically for makeup. Okay, and the next product is a primer, and this is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Base Corrector Primer. And if you guys have been watching my videos, you know this is my holy grail product. I absolutely love this product. I can't live without it. And the reason is, as you can tell right here, I don't have any makeup on yet. So it's really red right here, right here, right here on my forehead. And what this does is this color corrects my redness. So it pretty much gets rid of it before I even apply my foundation. So that when I apply my foundation, it's not so red. The red isn't sticking out. Because depending on the foundation you use, some foundations are trying to replicate skin. So it won't conceal the redness. It'll just conceal kind of the blemishes. And that's kind of like the foundations I use. They are more just for blemishes, not for redness. Especially since I am so red. So that's why I really love this primer. It really does its job. Sometimes I will go out with just this primer on and that is it, nothing else. And that's another point I want to make is that I'm going to include a foundation into this video for the 10 minutes or less and explain it to you guys. But if you guys don't feel like you need a foundation, trust me, you can skip that step altogether and it'll take even less time. Um, if you want, you can just use a primer, like I said, or you can also use a tinted BB cream. Okay, and the next product is a foundation, and I use the Fit Me Maybelline Dewy and Smooth Foundation in the color 130 right now, Buff Beige. I usually combine Buff Beige and Sandy Beige, I think that's one tw or 210, but since I am getting a little paler now, my tan's starting to fade finally from the summer, I decided to go with a lot of <laughs> the lighter color now instead of mixing both because I feel like it doesn't match the rest of my body. So I'm just going to be using this one, and this one... Pretty much self-explanatory, it's just foundation, it's to cover your blemishes. It also comes in matte, because the thing is, if you have really oily skin, you want to use a matte foundation. Now, to apply my foundation, I use two different brushes, and the first brush I use is the MAC 190 brush. It looks like this, and this one I pretty much just use because 
This one doesn't have a pump on it. It's just like the circle that you pour out. So I pour it onto my hand first and then I take this brush and I mix it like this on my on the back of my hand and then I pretty much just paint it on my face that's why this brush looks like a paint brush because that's exactly what you do you pretty much just gonna paint it all over your face and then after you paint it you're gonna go in with this brush which is the morphe m439 brush and it looks like this and you're gonna go in with this and you're just gonna go around your face with whatever you paint it on I used to go like this like I used to just buff it out in circle motions like this and I still do sometimes but now I've learned that I prefer just pounding it in like this as if I was using a beauty blender because I just feels like it, I feel like it gives a more flawless look to it than if you were going like this. But don't get me wrong, in the next clips when I do the 10 minutes or under, you will see me going like this a little bit, but that's only after I go like this. I just want to pound it into my skin first to make sure I get it in all the places, and then I'll buff it out. I highly recommend this brush. If you could only get one of these two brushes, I would highly recommend the Morphe one, the M439. I just feel like even if you wanted to, you could just take it on your palm like this and then go right in with it. I love this brush. This is my new Holy Grail foundation brush. Okay, and the next thing I will be using is my Lorac Pro Palette. And the only reason I'm going to be using this is because I do want to get a little color in my crease, like right over here in my eye, just so that I don't look so dead, I look a little bit more lively. I feel like if you just put a little hint of a color in your crease or on your eye at all, it'll just make them pop. No matter what color, no matter how much you do, it's just going to look a little bit more lively. So that's exactly what I'm going to do in the next clip when I show you guys. And I'm going to be using this light brown color. It's the second shade right there. And you don't necessarily have to go out and buy this exact palette and this use this exact color. This is just a simple neutral light brown color that you can find in almost any palette, especially drugstore palettes. I feel like that color is the one most used in drugstore palettes. So you don't, don't feel like you have to go out and get this exact palette. Trust me, there's colors exactly like it, dupes, in a hundred other different um, palettes. But I'm going to be using this one just because this is one of my favorite palettes at the moment. And I'm going to be using the Sigma Diffuse Crease E38 brush, and it looks like this. And I'm going to be using this to buff that color into my crease. Okay, and the next product I will be using is a blush, and the one I will be using is the Buxom True Hue Blush in the color Breathless, and it looks like this. It's just a really simple matte pink color. I hope the camera's picking it up. But the reason I will be using a matte color is because I feel like, especially if you're getting ready in the morning and you're going to your job or your school, and that's why you don't have time to like glam it up, I feel like a shimmer um, blush might be a little bit too much since you're not doing the whole contouring and highlighting thing. So I feel like a matte blush looks more natural and is the best way to go because especially in the next thing I'm going to explain to you guys is you're going to highlight a little bit. Well, I am. You guys don't have to. Any of these steps you can completely skip and just pick and choose what you want to do. But I'm just giving you guys a, an, an idea of how much you can do in such little time. So yeah, so since I will be highlighting next, I really wanted to stay away from the shimmer blushes since that has enough shimmer to go around. So that's why I'm sticking with the more matte. It just looks more natural, more flawless, and you'll see how it all turns out. And you'll definitely, it looks like you're just having the naturally rosy cheeks. And the brush I will be using to apply that, br that blush is the Real Techniques Blush Brush. Wow, that's a tongue twister. So it looks just like this, and this is a drugstore brush, so you don't have to worry about the price. I'm pretty sure it's under $10, and they have a thousand other brushes you can use. I just like this one because it goes on really nice, but depending on your face shape, you can get a smaller one if you want. You can get a bigger one. It's all up to you guys, but I really love this blush brush. And the next product I will be talking about is my MAC. I think this is 180, I'm not even sure because you can see it's like totally faded out. But it looks like this and it's just a regular stippling brush. What you're going to do with this stippling brush is you're just going to buff out the highlight that I'm going to show you next and the blush that you already put on. Just so everything goes in, it looks just as one. It doesn't look like blush right here and then highlight right here. It's just you want to go like this as you will see in the clips just so everything can come together really nicely. The next product I will be talking about is the highlight, and I'm going to be using the Becca Opal Highlight. This is a throwback. You don't really see a lot of people using this one anymore ever since Champagne Pop came out. And don't get me wrong, I love Champagne Pop, but I like bringing it back sometimes because this color was my holy grail at one point. Absolutely love this highlight. 
And if you can't afford this highlight, because I know it, Becca is pretty expensive with the highlights, you can honestly just get a drugstore shimmer eyeshadow and use it as a highlight. That's what I used to do, and it works just as well. You cannot tell the difference or that it's an eyeshadow at all. So this is what it looks like. And what you're going to do with this is you're going to be using a brush. I use the Morphe M501 brush, and it looks just like this. And what you're going to do is you're going to dip it in here, and you're going to put it on the high points of your cheeks right here and I also put it a little bit above my forehead well above my eyebrow on my forehead over here I also put a little under here right in that little crease and I put some on the tip of my nose and down the bridge of my nose and a little bit on my cupid's bow and honestly that does so much a little bit goes a long way with this especially this highlight you don't want to overdo it since you do want to keep it natural. And the very last product I will be talking about is mascara. And this is the CoverGirl, the Super Sizer Mascara. I think every girl knows what mascara does. It's pretty simple, self-explanatory. Even if you don't know or do makeup like that, I'm pretty sure almost everyone uses mascara. But this is just my favorite in case you were looking for a new one. Highly recommend this one. It's amazing. It makes your lashes look so long but keeps them really natural. So yeah, I love this one. And then the very last product, I, I forgot I had one more, but the very last product is the Mario Badescu Facial Spray Rose Water. And it looks like this. And what I use this for is I use it sometimes in the beginning after I apply my moisturizer. I still go a little bit with this. Or I also use it to spray my foundation brush before I go in because you always want to dampen your foundation brush. Or if you use a beauty blender, no matter what you use, to buff out your foundation you always want to spray the brush or the beauty blender or whatever with something it can be this facial spray it could be a setting spray it could even just run it under some tap water honestly if your brush or your beauty blender is damp it is the best thing it makes your foundation just slide on and then sometimes I'll also spray this at the end when I'm finished with all my makeup just to set everything together and make sure it lasts all day and it gives me that hydrating glow Okay guys, so that was it for the back to basics part of this video. So now I am about to set my timer to see how long this will take me. And I'm going to use every single product I just mentioned in order so that you guys can keep along with what I said before. Okay, and we are about to start.
you guys so that was it that was the 10 minutes or less part of this video and as you can see it was definitely less than 10 minutes my phone says 7 minutes and 41 seconds I don't know if you guys can see that the camera's picking it up but 7 minutes and 41 seconds that is awesome so this whole thing everything I explained to you guys in the beginning and everything I just showed you was under 10 minutes which means you still had three minutes to do anything else you had to do in the morning while getting ready before you had to leave for work go to school whatever it is or even if you just want a new simple look that only takes under 10 minutes that you can use and still look natural and flawless this was definitely it I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope this whole entire video helped you in some way if you guys are just starting out in makeup, trust me, everything I showed you, you don't even need. These are just the stuff that if you want like a simple, natural look, this is what I would use. And like I said, there's definitely drugstore alternatives for all these, so don't even worry about the price. You have to just find something that works for you and that looks right on you because everyone's different. Everyone has different kind of skin types and skin tones. I really hope you enjoyed it and you learned something new and that it helped you. So please, if it did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more holiday videos that will be coming very soon to you guys. So yeah, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.